Hello, Amanda. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. I'm so a uh, little tired, but I'm mm. fine. Okay. Amanda, you didn't connect yesterday or yes? No, I I can did I I I, I didn't couldn't. can't. I, I didn't couldn't. can't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No problem, Amanda. We are looking at the past tense and how to make questions and answers in the past tense. Okay. Okay. So don't worry, we're going to begin with a little review to make sure that it's okay. Okay. All right. So we have Diana, Lisette, and you, and I share my screen and we together, we select the best answer. This is for 1.2, okay? So in 1.2, the first knowledge check, we check. All we have to do is select the correct one. Amanda, can you read number one, please? Yes, uh, uh, choose the best uh, response to this question. This question: Did she play soccer in high school? Okay, and uh, how how do you? What is the answer? How would you answer? Um, no, no, uh, she. Uh, the second, no, no. She didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Okay. All right. Thank you, Amanda. Diana, can you do number two, please? Just the, I oh, know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't read. Choose the best response to these questions. To this question. When did you graduate from college? Uh, I graduated from college in 2005. Okay. The second one. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Diana. Lisette, number three, please. Lisette Castillo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Mm. Go ahead. Read number three. Choose the best question to match this response. I grew up in Houston, Texas. Um, my option is, where did you grow up? The first one. No, second. The second, second. okay. Second. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Vanessa, Vanessa Ramirez, try number four. Okay. Um... Choose the best question to match this response. I began to study English two years ago. Um, the answer is uh, where uh, It's okay, Vanessa. It's okay to make mistakes, no problem. I, I um, yeah. I don't know, teacher. It's okay. <laughs> Try. It. It's okay. You don't know. What do you think is okay. the answer? Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. No problem. It's okay. Don't worry, Eric. What do you think is number four? Uh, hello. Este, teacher, no sé si me puede repetir porque voy ingresando. Yes, number four. Uh, Eric, what do you think is the answer for number four? Okay. When uh, when did you begin to study English? Okay, the first one. Okay, thank you. Angelica, what is number five? Hello, good evening. Good evening. And uh, number five is the third answer. Yes, I did. Okay, 
All right, guys, we, we're going to check, okay? And we can see some of the answers are correct. Some of the answers, no. For example, here, number one, excellent, is correct. Number two is correct. Number three, not correct. Number three, I grew up in Houston, Texas. The correct answer is, where did you grow up? We selected, where did you grow up? The correct is grow up. Remember, when we use did, always the verb in present. If I use did, the verb in present, okay? Number four is correct the answer. Number five is correct the answer. So this is for 1.2 in the, the platform is the first knowledge check, okay? Any questions? Okay, no questions. All right, let's continue then. Lesson objective. Let's take a moment and read. Monica, Monica, can you please read the instructions? What are the objectives? Monica Escobar. Okay. Me, okay. teacher. Okay. Yes, please read. Uh, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you came to the United States. This English conversation skills will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Thank you very much. Good. Did you understand all of the words? Are there any questions for the vocabulary? Background. Good. Here it says your background is your, the same to talk about your past. You will be able to talk about your past in English. For example, explaining where you were born. This is your background, where you were born, it, where you studied, it, where you lived, this is the background. It's okay background? Yes. Good. Any other questions for the vocabulary? No. Okay. So as we can see, we're going to continue like yesterday. Yesterday, we looked at questions in the past with did, with was, and were. Today, we continue with the questions for WH and more in the past. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the bird to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China. I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're Okay. So, the first thing that we want to talk about is the difference. Remember the difference with was and were? What is the difference? We use was and were for for what? Was, was is used for dear person. He, oh. she, it. Okay, good, good. Where is for, for pronounce? I, Seria, I pronoun you with they. Mm -hmm. Correct. So for he, she, it was. You, we, they, were, and remember, for I is I was. 
also I was. The important in the verb to be is that here we use word place, profession, or description. When do we use the verb did? When do we use auxiliary did? Did we use it when we want to talk about actions and verbs? Correct. This is the idea. Did is we use it with actions and verbs. I, he, she, it was or wasn't. We, you, they were or weren't. But did we use when we want to talk about activities. Okay. So, for example, here, I was born in Argentina. I wasn't born in China. It's for the place, the location. This is why it's correct to use the word was, no did. No, I did born in Argentina, okay? Then we also want to make sure that we use for the other words. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, one moment. That's it. So when you talk about any place in the world, eh, South America, the United States, China, Africa, Australia, only for location is was or were. So I was in Australia, okay? But then for the actions, oh, I went, I drank, I ate. So for the actions is always in the past. Did you drink? Did you eat? Did you? Always in the questions we use in the present tense. It's okay, the idea? Okay. Let's try together. Let's make sure that it's clear, okay? So here with 1.5, you and your partners are going to select which is the correct way to complete the question or the sentence, okay? So in 1.5, we are going to make groups in only a few minutes, only with our partner, we read and select. And we're going to have just three minutes to complete. Are you ready, guys? All right, let's go.
Okay, are we ready? Let's take a look. Number one, which is the correct use? He was born in Spain. Okay, he was born in Spain. Okay, number two, which is the correct one? We're in France. Okay, good, we're in France. Number three, what is the correct? I was born in Mexico. I wasn't born in Peru. Okay, good. Number four. My wife and I were in Mexico. Were. Okay, good. And number five. Please was a little less. Was. All right. So as you can see, now we understand. Always, always locations or right the verb to be okay for the places for the description difficult easy fast beautiful ah the verb to be the exam ah was difficult was easy was fun this is always the verb to be okay it's okay the verb to be Only I, I only see Angelica with the finger. What happened to the other people? What happened yesterday? Yeah, there you go, Wendy. All right, there we go. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. All right. Good job. Good job. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Excellent. So we have the verb to be. Remember, did for actions. Was and were, no actions. We're going to continue reading more about making questions in the past. Okay. So. Lisette, can you please read the objective? Okay. Will English conversational skills with this lesson on past tense question? Practice forming past tense question use the verb to be by asking a person about his or her background. For example, you will be able, were you born in the city? Where were you born? Where were you born? And how old will you when you come to this country? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to ask and answer yes or no question and WH question using was and where. Okay, so we're going to practice asking questions like where, where is different, right? Look, where, were, where, 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 where were you where. born? Okay. Where, where. Correct. It's similar, but not the same. The pronunciation is here is where, 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 here is where, 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 okay? And also more questions like the when. The first is, mm -hmm. the pronunciation is most large. It's like A, it's like pronunciation A, where, where, where. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct, okay? And so. Where. Yesterday, we practiced some questions in the past. Hi, everyone. But Do you yeah. remember the yesterday? We made some questions with what, which, where. Okay. Do you remember? Okay. Here we have some more questions like, did you, when did you, where did you, why did you, where were you, where, all of the different questions. This is the idea for making the questions here. Okay. Remember, I, he, she, it, was we you they were in questions only it's necessary change the position for example first the verb to be and then the subject okay were you for example okay in sentence you were so in question were you in sentence 
were you? Sorry, in sentence, you were. For WH questions, remember, it's always the WH, then the verb to be. As an example, we always have WH, where, who, what, when, why is the first, and then the same structure, verb to be, subject, and complement, okay? So in this moment, what we want to do is we want to practice. Practice asking and answering questions, okay? So it's like an interview for the questions from yesterday. Ah, where were you born? Where did you study? What did you do, okay? What did you like? The, the idea is to ask our questions to the partner in the past. In the past with were or in the past with did. It's okay or no? Okay, hablamos y no me contestan. Yo no sé si continuar o no. Okay. It's okay or no? Yay, okay. there you go, there you go. All right. Thank you, Wendy. All right, there we go, Vanessa. Perfect. Okay, so now let's interview. You are going to have uh, seven minutes, seven minutes to ask. So three minutes and three minutes to ask the partner. Discover the partner. Uh, what did you like? What did you discover about the past? Okay. Eric, you didn't join the group. Me sacó de la plataforma, Ah, okay, okay. Let's try again. Okay.
Okay, is the questions are okay? Let's find out. Okay, let's see. Wendy, explain Diana. Explain about Diana. Diana. Uh, born in San was, Salvador. Was was born. was born in so yeah, in San Salvador, but she lived in Soyapango. And she studied in Espiritu Santo. Was located in San Jacinto. Okay, good. Thank you, Wendy. Diana, tell me about <laughs> Wendy. When she was born in San Salvador, she studied in Santa Teresa School in San Marcos. Her, her school was okay. She studied for two years in there. She studied in one more school, but she liked Santa Teresa the most. And she changed her school because of security. Good. Remember the final sound. She liked, she changed the, the. She liked, she changed. Remember, like is with T, the pronunciation with T, light. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Diana. All right, uh, Angelica, tell me about Vanessa. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, Angelica. Uh, well, Vanessa, uh, she was a heavy day, and she eat last night avocado and water. No, no, she she eat. Eat is present. She ate. Correct. I'm sorry. She ate. Mm -hmm. Continue, Angelica. Continue. Um, that's. That's all. That's all. Uh, yes, es que nos, eh, nos confundimos mucho con las preguntas. Pensábamos okay. que eran así cosas. Hey, Ajá, hey. no, no del pasado. Don't worry, it's okay, Angélica. Don't worry, it's okay, it's okay. Van, uh, Vanessa, tell me about Angélica. Okay. Um, Vanessa was born in San Salvador. Here day, yesterday was very good, especially her lunch. And, and that's it. <laughs> the other time. Okay, all right. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. No problem. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Eric, tell me about Vanessa. I could not do the exercise. Oh. I, I, I don't confuse with, with question. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, Amanda, tell me about Lisette. Um, Lisette um, was a busy day and worked um lot of lot of time and she felt uh, stress stressful tired mm -hmm. and uh, something like that <laughs> okay no problem no problem Lisette tell me about Marlon teacher excuse me I'm doing my trabajo y... ah okay okay Lisette 
no, no. Sí, está... ahorita sí no puedo participar, lo siento. No, no, no. Gracias por avisar, Lisa. No sabía. It's okay, Lisa. Thank you. Okay. Marlon, tell me about Amanda. Um, okay. Um, Amanda was a, a stressful day and Amanda visited, visited her family the last weekend. Only, only that. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice, nice job, guys. Okay, very good. Um, only in the chat, you see the person I'm going to put in one moment. Okay. Okay. So, for example, the correct way is the name. For example, she or he. No, was a stressful day. She or he had a stressful day, had a difficult day, had a hard day. In these situations, we're going to use the word had. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Eric, how was your day? I, teacher, I had a difficult day. Or maybe, hey, Eric, how was your day? Ah, I had an easy day. I relaxed with mojitos in the beach near El Tunco. Ah, okay. The relax. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. 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 Let's check to see if you understand the correct way to use it. With our partners, we are going to do 1.8, 1.8, and we are going to, well, we're, let's try together. Let's go the class together to make sure it's correct. Okay. Let's read number one. Vanessa Ramirez, can you do number one, please? Uh, okay, were you a good st student? Uh, a student in high school? Uh, yes, I were. Okay, Eric is correct or not correct? No correct. No correct. Okay. No correct. What is the correct? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Ah, good. Remember, he, she, ah. it, and I. Correct. Okay. Good. Okay. Marlon, number two. Um, hello? Yes, Marlon. Go ahead. Um, you born where city in this? And what is the correct? So, yeah. Where uh -huh. you born? Where you born? In where this you city? born in this city? Is correct or not correct? Marlon's answer number number two. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. Good job. Good job. Okay. Good. Number three. Number three. Vanessa Carolina. Number three, what um, were your favorite subject in high school? Okay, is correct or not correct? Yes, correct. It's correct. Yes, all right, good, good, all right. Uh, Diana Vasquez, number four. Which is correct? When was Peter born? Okay, guys, yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay, good. And Wendy, number five? How old were you? How old were you? Mm -hmm. The, the yes. number two, okay. Is correct or not correct? Mm, okay, so number five, mm, no estamos seguros, okay. It's all right, let's take a look. Okay, very good, yes. All of those are correct, you see? How old were you in 1999? When was Peter born? 
what were your favorite subjects in schools? Were you born in the city? And yes, I was. It's okay, 1.8. How to make the questions or no? Angelica says yes. The others, yes, no? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay, good, thank you, thank you, Eric. All right, I see Mario, thank you. All right, so now we're going to practice, okay? We're going to practice more speaking in this moment we're going to describe speaking. So with our partners, we're going to describe our day. Diana, as an example, Diana, how was your day today? My day was okay. I had a very productive day. I did a lot of activity. What did you do? I translated a few documents and I filled some formulary. Okay, where did you where did you translate the documents? When or where? Where? Where mm -hmm. in in the in my office? Ah, oh, where is your office, Diana? It's in a medicine distributor in Colonia Escalon. Okay, did you see the example? The example, no question answer. The example is conversation how was your day what happened diana answer i different question the question for the diana's answer depend diana's answer we create a conversation and maybe diana say hey and you how was your day i diana my day was and then we have conversation the objective no question answer the objective is conversation conversation for today's activities. It's okay? Okay. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Listen, because when finish the activity, you explain your partner's activities. Example, uh, I explained Diana. Diana had a very hard day. She translated many documents. She works in, I, I explain Diana, no, I explain me. Finish the activity, I explain my partner. It's okay? Para los que tienen mal memoria, anoten las respuestas de los compañeros. Okay, all right, we're ready? I'm ready. Okay, right. Let's, okay, perfect, perfect. I like it. Let me see, I think um, if I, I ¿Quién es el que está en el trabajo que no puede hablar? Era... Lisette. Me, me. Lisette. Era Lisette. Lisette Castillo. Yes, yes right? Lisette yes, Castillo. Teacher. Ok. Yes. Okay. Right. Te, voy a, te voy a poner a un grupo donde puedes escuchar y los otros pueden hablar. Ok. Ok, gracias. Eh, ah, Kevin, vos también. Ok, ok, venga. All right, y Kevin también. Ok. And Kevin also, and then we change for there. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, let's practice. Okay. Remember, talk about your day with your partner. Create the conversation. Create the conversation.
Okay, let's try. Ready? Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's try again. Um, let's see. Marlon, please explain about Mario. Okay. Um, hey, his day was very, very good. Um, he was born in San Salvador city. Um, he, 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 he was to, to drive to, to help to his work in the morning. Okay, remember in the past, the drive in the past? Drove. Correct, he drove. drove. Mm -hmm. He drove to work in the morning and his birthday was 15 days ago. Ah, nice. Okay. Okay, good job. Good job, Marlon. I like it. Good. Mario, explain about Marlon. Uh, he was born in Huachapan City. It's a uh, very good day. He drove to work at 6 a.m. He was after to work and today are highly stressful. Stressful? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Good. Good, Mario. I like it also. Good idea. All right. Let's take a look. Uh, Diana, explain uh, Eric. Eric had a stressful day because he had too much work and activities to do. He daily purchased products for, text, for a textile company which is located in Soyapango. He also lives in Soyapango, but he got early to home because he daily drives a motorcycle. Excellent, Diana, excellent. Only is too, too many, too many activities, not too much activities, but very many. good, very good, too many, excellent. Eric, explain Diana. Hey. Um, she live, she live in Soyapango. She was very busy. She had a lot of work. It was a long day. She worked in a company medicine distribution on the Escalon. She had to translate many documents. Stressful, huh? Okay, thank you, Eric. Very nice, good explanation also. Nice, Eric. All right, let's take a look at, I think it's um, Vanessa. Vanessa explain, I think it's, uh, explain Amanda, right?
Ok. Eh, Amanda, um, how a day very stressful? At work, uh, very stress, stressful at work. She doesn't know if her boss know the stress she, she have. Uh, she, she, watch, she watch TV series and listen to music to return uh, in, in her house. Es correcto decir in her house si me refiero a su casa. En su house. In her house. Ajá, uh -huh. casa. Yes, in her house. In okay. Um, finally. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Okay, Vane? Oh. Is, that's it? Sí, yes, yes, finally. Okay, okay, good, thank you, Vane, all right. Amanda, explain about Vane. Okay, Vane um, had a hard day because she had to make a lot of pupusas um so but uh, the, the the last time that she traveled it was in 2035 repeat in <laughs> 2035 mm. no let me put in the chat let me put in the chat 2035 no, 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 eh, 2005. Ah, how do we say 2005, class? How do we say 2005? It's correct, Amanda. Yo creo que quería decir 2005. 2005. 2005. Correct. 2005. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hey, it's a long time, a long time from the last. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, Wendy, right? We need Wendy. Uh, hi. Hi, Wendy. You're going to explain <laughs> about Angelica. For Angelica, she was stressful because she had more I don't I don't remember explains the morning job okay. how do you say mucho trabajo a lot of work a lot of work mm -hmm. in her day okay and that's it. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's okay. But tomorrow more, Wendy. Tomorrow more. All that's right. It. Okay. Angelica, explain Wendy. Uh, her day was very stressful. She's in a new area at her work. She is in an induction and was very hard. She had new partners who were difficult to deal with. Okay. Good explanation. Very nice. Good job, guys. Excellent. This means that in the platform, in the platform today, you should be complete with uh, knowledge check 1.2, knowledge check 1.5, and knowledge check 1.8. Tomorrow, we begin with the objective 1.9. Tomorrow, begin the objective 1.9. It's okay? Great teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you for okay. connecting. Thank you for coming to class. I see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.